So this is a different one. While in Hungary, I was in a shop. There was a couple. The cologne or perfume that they wore was amazing. I asked them what it was. It was the same. It's unisex. And this is it. Let's see. I love this on the couple. So now I'm going to see if I like it on me. It's right here. This is a nice box. Uh, and it has, you probably can't see that, but even though it's from Paris, I mean, yeah, the, the Eau de Parfum is from Paris, but it's the New York style. Why did I buy it um, virtually? Because it smelled great on someone else. But the hints, I was told it had sandalwood on it, jasmine from Egypt. Um, it has aldehyde. It has bergamot from Italy. And it has some orange and some musk tones. So this is really scary, buying an expensive perfume cologne without trying it and smelling it. So what should I do? I'm gonna just put it here first. Hmm. Definitely unisex. Okay. Having taken chemistry and organic chemistry, now I can smell the aldehyde. Very clean. Not a wow. I smell the musky orange, the bergamot, but not so strong. It's a clean smell. I like that smell when people walk by. And it's not like they just came out of the shower, but that clean, I, I want to say Irish Spring type scent, but not quite. It's definitely not like any fragrance that I've ever smelled in the United States of someone wearing. I think I love it. It's probably not for everyone. It's not like you're in the elevator and someone's wearing like, oh my God, what is that smell? I've had that definitely from Tom Ford's Oud Wood and of course from Advantis Creed, but MSK 724. Don't know if I would recommend it for you, but it's great for me and I'm a hundred thousand percent satisfied. Goodbye.